Nicole Luzza and Chris Shannon are not your typical couple. They're traveling the country, participating in dozens of triathlons. They started in Newport Beach, California, and will end up in Florida. The question is why? We were thinking about going back to Australia, but we can't at the moment. So we thought, why not just drive across the country and stay fit at the same time? They prefer sprint triathlons, which consist of a half mile swim, a 12 mile bike ride at each stop along the way, followed by a 5K or three mile run. They're stopping at Wise across the country to train, including right here on the coast. When we're traveling across the country, it's hard to find a hotel that has a pool and a gym. So yeah, it's great to have them all around the country and we just have them accessible. That's a feeling echoed by Chris. The Y has just phenomenal pools and we've just experienced all over the country the Ys. Uh, they all have this great pool and then they've got wonderful gyms where we can work out and do our, you know, our cardio and our fitness. But Chris has something else in mind besides biking, running and swimming. Definitely getting married. I think that's really top of my list. Um, I think going together and doing this cross-country trip and doing triathlons together, uh, it's definitely brought us closer. Um, I think that's something that's at the top of my mind. Being together on this grand adventure has led them down the path to better fitness. Nicole uh, has a t this amazing track record of being a marathonist uh, and has just developed the try kind of bug, if you will and got me into it, and we've just, just training together, trying to push each other to the limits. Besides getting married eventually, there's something else the couple wants to accomplish. I'm trying to get to 50 states, so I have about eight more states to uh, visit in the US, so maybe we'll try and do a triathlon in every state. And with this kind of dedication, there's no doubt that's going to happen. Doug Walker, reporting for our YMCA.